I want a job. So how much salary will you give me? Stop getting the wrong advice. Want a job in the Middle East? Contact Loy Macedo. Um, this video is just going to be a, a, a private video, you know. Okay, let's, let's go back a couple of steps. The Air India flight that was there, many, you know, people got impacted, many people died, even more people got injured, okay? And if you check the papers, you'd see, you know, families that have been impacted, affected. Some people have been lucky that they had a fine to pay so they could not board the aircraft. So people were saying, oh, God is great which I found the most stupid statement. So God is great for him and I mean, what the fuck are you guys talking? Uh, I understand the context that, okay, God was there for him, but I mean, that's a very inappropriate, immature, uh, quite a brainless statement. So God is great for them. What about, you know, someone whose baby died or wife died or husband died. It's, it's stupid, you know. So then, um, um, I was, you know, getting the news feed and then I got, uh, I saw this post which really disturbed me. It shows, in Khalid times, it shows this, this man and he has this baby, he's holding this baby and, um, He's holding this baby, it's a two-year-old baby and the heading reads that uh, this is the father. Um, the baby and the mother were supposed to go first and he was supposed to go next. So the baby and the mother went on that ill-fated uh, flight. and. Um, the, the the mother and the baby both got injured the mother is right now in the hospital in the ICU but the baby did not make it you know and um, I um, when I saw the baby the first thing that came to my mind the first thing that came to my mind was this baby just looks like my little baby girl, you know? I just kept quiet, I looked at the screen, I was quiet and... Then I went to my wife. My wife was you know, lying down, it was night and... Uh, you know, I didn't show her first. At first she was, I asked her what happened and she was just telling me that she was very tired, she was very angry with the baby, uh, with our baby, she was very angry and... Uh, the baby was making, uh, uh, sometimes, you know, the baby can really test your patience. Whenever she would keep anything proper, my baby would just put everything all over. The baby has, she cleaned uh, the floor, the wall, the baby drew everything there. Uh, she just made my wife lose her patience and she was like, sometimes I want to, you know, I hate the baby, you know. So I just kept quiet, I, I understood. It's not easy being a mother, you know. I, I don't know how she is so patient. So, after she said that, I said, I want to show you something. So, my wife was lying down, my baby was sleeping. I just lay down next to my wife. And then, uh, opened my iPhone and I showed that photo. I said, look at this. So she looked at this, she said, what happened here? So, I told her that this, um, this this baby, you know, I told her the story. The baby went with the mother, the mother got injured, and the baby died. She also said the same thing. The, it looks like our baby Helen, you know. And um, the minute, uh, you know, we both realized that, we just kept quiet. 
we didn't say a word for some time and then uh, my wife was very upset i was upset and you know my wife just lay there and i got up and uh, i just told her like i don't know what the i don't know what the husband must be going through i don't know what the father must be going through in fact i don't know how the the wife the mother will handle it you know and uh, um when i turned around i saw my wife holding the baby and she was visibly upset you know this morning when i got up uh, again the same thought was there in my mind you know? the same thought that um, if it was my baby that went in that aircraft it was my wife and my baby you know what would i go through you know and uh, you know just a few days before that there was this ferry in thailand that just capsized and some people died there and now this one this aircraft and you had the beirut bombing sorry beirut explosion you know um, we never think something bad will happen to us we we never think anything bad will happen to us we think bad will happen to somebody else okay it'll happen to those people in that country it'll happen to the people in the war zone we read about accidents happening to other people we don't think it'll happen to us we never think it'll happen to us but then when it does happen i mean uh, how do you take it i just sat down in my room i i just started to visualize i tried to imagine okay let's imagine i know what you'll say lloyd don't imagine it's not good you know but hear up okay just listen up the i'm not i'm not inviting or asking for bad things to happen but that doesn't mean you just act as if it is not existent i mean this father must have never thought of it. never in a million years never in a billion years must have thought anything bad would happen to his child so i sat down there i just asked myself okay i get the news the plane is crashed okay this is how i would feel i get the news that my baby is seriously injured this is how i would feel and then i get the news that my baby is dead it's uh, it's very tough you know all the um, memories moments all the play toys all the clothes it's not something you can even fathom you know it's not something you can fathom i'm not going to i'm not going to s- you know give a lecture or, or give words or oh, be strong this that the fuck yeah <laughs> what be strong and i definitely i would fucking go and slap someone if they say god loves you go fuck yourself yeah. Yeah. That that poor father he'll have to endure the the tears, the pain, the memories. He'll have to endure all this. It's it's like a knife being stabbed, you know. I don't know how he'll take it. I don't know how the wife will take it. 
but it's without a doubt the most painful thing to endure. The poor woman would have scars of the that aircraft and I I I don't know what to say other than I'm just speechless, you know. Even if I wanted to think of something to say, I would not be able to say it. I would not be able to say it. I would just keep quiet, you know. If if I could say something to myself, let's assume I'm speaking to Loy and Loy lost his baby. I would just I would just sit next to Loy and not say a word. Just being there with him, being his friend. Making sure that through my actions, uh, he knows that I'm his friend, I care. That's all I would have done. Because sometimes people don't need words and they don't need all that dialogue. They just need someone to be there. life. <laughs> anyway, my request is please uh, don't put anything rude below this video. Just If you have a family, if you have your children, if you have your mother or father, just go hug them, tell them you love them. You know, cherish these moments, you know. We don't realize how precious and priceless they are until we lose them. Yeah. That's, that's all I want to say. All right? Yes, take care.